What's up all the people on the internet? My name is Milo and this is Taylor Plus. Hello, hello everyone, once again, and welcome back to Daily Plus, your favorite show about everything Eurovision. Now the Eurovision season is over, and that means this is actually the last episode of Daily Plus before we go on a little summer break, but I'll talk more about that later. Today we have a little bit of Eurovision news, a little bit of Junior Eurovision news, so let's get started. And we are of course starting with the famous Barbara Dex Award. Every single year, the Eurovision fan site EurovisionHouse.nl has been given out the Barbara Dex Award. This is an award honoring the worst dress person for this year's Eurovision, and it's been held annually since 1997. This year's winner is by no surprise Croatia. Croatia won with a landslide win. 770 points were given to Nina from Croatia, and she is the winner of this year's Barbara Dex Award. On second place, we found Jamie Lee from Germany, and on third place, it was Rijka from Switzerland. The Barbara Dex Award is named after the Belgian singer who came dead last at the contest in 1993. Her name was Barbara Dex, and she showed up to the show wearing a self-made awful dress. Ever since Jamala was crowned the Eurovision winner last week, there's been a lot of controversy. Was this the right winner? Was it too political? All these questions have been up in the air all week. If we had had the old voting system, the voting system we saw all the way up to this year, it wouldn't have been Ukraine winning. It would have actually been Australia. A big petition over at the website changes.org managed to create a lot of traffic last week. It was a petition to change the winner to Sergei Lesedev, the singer from Russia who came third at the grand final, but first with the televote. The EBU was quick to respond to this saying that the voting system used for the Eurovision Song Contest has been approved by both the reference group and all the broadcasters. Meaning that everyone, including the Russian delegation, was aware that you couldn't necessarily win the contest by televoting alone. Controversy also struck when it was found out that a different kind of version of 1994 was actually put up on YouTube way before the deadline of September 2015. Once again, the EBU was very quick to respond, saying that this version was not commercially released and it differs enough from the original version that it did not break any Eurovision rules. All throughout social media people have definitely been talking about this winner but no matter what it's not going to change the fact that Jamala is the winner and we will be going to Ukraine next year the Eurovision Song Contest. Now for some junior Eurovision news we have three countries who has announced a little bit more details when it comes to their national selection. Bulgaria is once again ready to launch a national selection to find the singer or singers for this year's junior Eurovision in Malta. You can take a look at the participants from this year's show on the screen right now. Now. Most noticeably is the children performing arts group Bonbon. Bonbon took part with their old members back in 2007, when they were the debut entry for Bulgaria in the junior edition with the song Bon Polandia. The semi-finals will be held between June 1st and June 8th, and on June 11th we will have the big final to determine the singer, but only the singer. The song will be chosen at a later date. Bulgaria hosted last year's junior edition in Safia, and the show was hosted by none other than Poly Genova, who gave the countries their best result ever at this year's Eurovision, with the song If Love Was a Crime. The host country Malta is also open for submissions for this year's Junior Eurovision National Selection. Kids between the age of 9 and 14 can now send clips in and they can be sent in until the 3rd of June. The big show itself will be held on July 16th and that's when we find out who will be representing Malta on home soil for this year's Junior Eurovision. Once again it is only the singer being chosen and not the song. The song will internally be written between some of the best producers in Malta along with of course the winning singer. Malta won the Junior Vision last year with Destiny and her song Not My Soul. Malta is currently one of the most winning countries with two wins. In the past couple years they've been doing very well, being able to finish inside of top 5 ever since 2013. And finally the Belarusian broadcaster is also open for submissions for their national selection for the Junior Vision. If you are a child in Belarus between the age of 9 and 14, you can now send your song into the Belarusian broadcaster and it might be you singing on the big stage for Belarus at this year's Junior Vision. The deadline for sending in the songs is the 17th of June and so far we don't have a date for the national selection but we will hopefully have that very soon. Belarus is one of the few countries to has taken part in every single junior edition. They have been taking part ever since 2003 and they've managed to win the contest two times in 2005 and 2007. Well there you go, that was actually all the news we had for Daily Plus this week. Daily Plus will be going on a little bit of a summer break because there won't be much Eurovision news in the next coming months. However, if you just can't get enough of Eurovision, you can of course still check out our website escplus.com. The website itself will not be going on summer break and we will keep you posted every time something new happens in the Eurovision or Junior Eurovision world. And if you're wondering if you can see some more from me, you can indeed. I have my own personal YouTube channel, it's called It's Me Milo and while I do do a few things about Eurovision, it's 
not necessarily the main focus on my channel. I have a lot of different videos on there, and if you're interested, you can go check that out. There will be a link on the screen right now. I will be back in August when more news will start coming about the Junior Edition, and we will start warming up for the Grand Show. The Junior Edition Song and Test 2016, live from the Mediterranean Conference Center in Valletta and Malta. But for now, I hope you have a great summer. I hope the weather will be amazing, and I hope you get the chance to blast your favorite Eurovision songs on the beach. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Leave a like and a favorite if you enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching Daily Plus this season, and I'll see you in August. Bye-bye!